Hey guys, welcome back. So, I was able to solve, with a little help from the internet, our um, wheels uh, not tracking correctly. You look now, I, I can't turn it, that's actually because they're not locked, but anyways, they're solid, they're straight, they're not moving. So the grub screw was actually not that. I'm not sure what that one's for, probably just to hold everything in place above it. The one that we needed was actually that one right there. So there's actually two, there's one on the opposite side of that. So I just tightened each of those down. Um, probably should have used some Loctite, but uh, I just wanted to see if that was what was causing the issue, and it was. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we need to get the brakes working. When I was at the uh, flying field, when I was filling up the uh, air cylinder for the brakes, this was just going full on lock. So, and I think it's a radio thing because it wasn't doing it when I had it programmed on the um, 7X or 7XI or whatever the heck it's called, DX7. All right, so let's see if we can get that going. So first off, I just filled the uh, air cylinder. I've got about 50 pounds of pressure in there. And you can see we have totally free spinning wheels. Um, now the power is completely off. And so I think where the issue is going to be is when we actually link to the receiver. That's why I think it's a um, programming issue. So let's take a look at that. Batteries hooked up. We still have free spinning receivers off. So now let's take a look. Receiver on. Okay, and wheels locked up. So I've got that on auxiliary four, and what I'm going to try to do is see if I reverse auxiliary four, see if that changes it. So, all right, I'm gonna try that and see if that works. Okay, so my suspicion was that aux four was reversed. And if we go in and click it, all right, you just heard that and that I'm guessing completely solved the issue. So, and then if I spin it here and hit the brakes, there it goes. And then it pulses because I've got it set to uh, anti-lock. So, all right, well that's all that it took and I'm kind of excited. So we've solved both issues. We've solved the tracking problem and the braking problem. So. Um, if I'm able to, I'll try to take this out to the field tomorrow and uh, give it a go. So on the videos when I was um, taxiing around or whatever, I never actually went above probably, I mean just probably two clicks up on the uh, throttle. Um, if I went up higher than that, um, it would just go too fast and I couldn't really stop it. So um, I want to get some speed tests going and see how well the brakes work. Um, just in case I have a shorter runway to land on so all right uh, that's it for right now this is just a short little video um, just wanted to show you I got the brakes all fixed 